Good morning all. Today I'm playing with this uh, little setup here. I've got a power supply here set to 3.7 volts. Uh, I've also limited that to 200 milliamps just to be uh, sure. 12 volts is coming in from my solar power system. And so I'm putting this 3.7 volts DC into this little unit, which um, I got recently from icstation.com. And it's a little oscillator and transformer and it's designed to turn 12 volts. Obviously, I'm not putting in quite 12 volts. I'm trying to put in a lower voltage. Uh, it turns it into a higher voltage AC, and it's completely transformer coupled and isolated. Uh, then I'm putting it through a bridge rectifier and finally a bulb. Now, I'll explain what all this is for in due course, but I just want to see if I can get any uh, power transferred through this transformer to the bulb. So let's switch on. Uh, right, so we're drawing about 50 milliamps and I've got uh, 3.68 volts coming out. Now I can't see anything on that bulb, so I'm just going to raise the voltage up. There's my up button, there it is. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right, now I'm just starting to get a glow on that bulb with about 10 and a half volts in. What's the current consumption? It's uh, 178 milliamps. But yes, I am getting power transferred through this oscillator circuit, through the transformer, through the bridge rectifier. Now I don't really need a bridge rectifier for a bulb. It wouldn't really matter if the bulb was directly on the AC output, but this is for something else. And I am getting power transferred. So power is being transferred through uh, from DC being turned into AC through the transformer, kind of back into DC through the bridge rectifier and into the bulb. That's good. That's a that's a start. Okay, next I've put I've removed the bulb from the uh, bridge rectifier, and I've put a three cell lipo. I'm using these low capacity cells because I want uh, voltage to move quickly, so they're quite useful for that. A three cell lipo connected to the output of the bridge rectifier. Uh, pause to pause, obviously, otherwise there'd be problems. Because what I want to do is I want to try and use energy from this power supply to go through this uh, DC to AC converter back to DC and charge these cells. I want this to be uh, a battery charger, lithium battery charger. Okay, now I'm going to put, uh, well, I've put a DVM on these because I want to watch the voltage when I switch this on and see if these are charging. Uh, right, I've had to put the DVM on its side to uh, fit everything on the table. Uh, now that's reading 12.05, 12.06. I just want to see if that raises up slightly when I start pushing power through here, current through here, uh, see if I can force current into this battery pack and raise that voltage a bit. So let's switch on at 3.7 volts. Now there's almost no current flowing there. So let's go to voltage, raise that voltage up. Five. Ah, now the meter's gone to 12.07. Let's keep going. Let's go a bit more. 10 volts, just check the current, 125 milliamps, 12.08. So that looks promising. Let's push this a little bit further. Perhaps up to 12 volts, 150 milliamps. I'm not quite sure what this DC to AC converter will tolerate. It doesn't seem to be getting warm. But that does seem to be transferring charge to the cells because their voltage has raised to 12.08. See if I can just push it up to 12.09 to convince myself that this is actually working. Let's go a little bit higher voltage, just over 12 volts. Yeah, we've got 12.09. So this is working as a battery charger. Now I'm having to put quite a high voltage in here. I wanted to do it from 3.7 volts, but I don't think that's going to happen. But at 12 volts, DC through here, uh, turn it into AC, step it up, rectify it, and stick it into these cells. And I am charging this battery from this power supply. Now the reason I wanted this at 3.7 volts 
is because I actually wanted to charge this battery from a single LiPo cell. And the reason I've got a transformer here to isolate uh, this side from this side is because I actually want to, to charge this battery consisting of three cells from the middle cell. And that's why I need a transformer because there's all this sort of voltage levels are going to cause a problem. I need to shift those voltage levels. Hey, we got 12.10. That's good. That's charging. I want to charge the battery from one of its own cells. Sounds a bit strange. But the logic behind trying to charge this battery from one of its own cells is for cell balancing. So let's say, for example, that the center cell has a high voltage. It's got just got to, um, say, 4.2 volts and we can't take that any higher, we're putting current through the whole, actually I'd be putting it this way, through the whole pack, we're charging the whole pack, but this cell has hit 4.2 volts. There's a microcontroller monitoring the voltage on this cell. It then switches on this converter unit and takes energy from the cell and puts it into the whole pack, therefore redistributing the energy from the cell that's got the high voltage into all the cells and that just effectively works as a balance mechanism. But instead of dumping it into a resistive load, we dump it into the entire battery pack. So this is now reading 12.11 volts. Let's turn off uh, this DC to DC converter, this power supply, and watch that drop back down. 12.10, 12.09, 12.08. So yeah, I mean, definitely energy is being transferred from this unit here through to the battery pack. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem, this converter here doesn't seem to uh, do anything much with only 3.7 volts on its input. I'm having to use 12 volts, but maybe if I um, remade this transformer with more turns on the secondary, I could get a higher voltage on the output for the same, uh, for this low voltage on the input. I know this works at 3.7 volts because I've scoped the output and there is a waveform there. It's fairly small, but um, yeah, this is just an experiment to see if I can use a transformer coupled, uh, in this case, DC to AC converter. Of course, it has to be AC, otherwise it can't go through a transformer. Then a very simple rectification on the output. You don't need smoothing or anything like that and just shove it straight into the battery. The battery does all the smoothing for you. So this is my latest idea for um, lithium cell charging and balancing. And rather than uh, have a cell recognize that it's going over voltage and just switch on a resistor and dump the energy into that and just throw it away and waste it, my idea was that it switches on this uh, converter and sends the energy out to the entire pack. And each of these cells would have one of these modules so that it could transfer excess charge to the entire pack. So there'd be three of these on a three cell pack. And it'd be an, an, an energy saving, uh, non-wasteful balance system which redistributes the energy from cells that have too much to the entire pack, which of course means that the cells that have less energy uh, come up and this one goes down. So that's the plan anyway. Um, but I do need uh, a little DC to AC converter which can run off the voltage of one cell, so 3.7 volts or even less. Let's just switch this on again. Watch that voltage come up. 1208, 1209. Yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. That does work. 12.10. I'm just having to put too much voltage in on the input at the moment, so this module is not ideal for the purpose, but I think it shows that um, I could, because of the transformer isolation, the galvanic isolation, connect the input of this, if it would run off 3.7 volts, to any one of these three cells and redistribute that energy to the entire pack. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that experiment. That proves that the concept works. Just need to find uh, something a bit different to this. Let's go check these transistors. They are getting a little bit warm, but not alarmingly so. Yeah, that's excellent. Very pleased. Cheerio.